Windows 7 or Windows 8 for Mac. Um, it's really easy to do. I've, um, I actually looked at a tutorial for the main part and then the part that actually gives you Windows I had to figure that out for myself so I'm going to be doing the way I did it um, first of all I just want to say before this video starts um, please subscribe because it does help and it's one click of a button and um, I've almost got 2000 views total um, on all of my videos and uh, I've only got 40 subscribers so just one click of a button and then you could be looking at other tutorials um, my next tutorial will be how to get the Mac theme so you can scroll across all of your apps and stuff like that and that's on my next tutorial so subscribe and look out for that um, so first of all I'm going to start we're going to want to go to virtualbox.org um, this is free all, everything I do is free none of it's paid for um, go to downloads and then you're going to want to get the one that says VirtualBox for OX Hosts and just click on that and then it should start downloading and then um, you want to type in um, Windows 7 Mac iOS iOS what you're going to want to do next is just find an ISO um, burn and an ISO onto the disk or I'll just put my file, I'll find one and put it in the description um, next what you're going to want to do is download the link that's in the description uh, that'll be for the ISO then you want to hit VirtualBox, just open it up if you have to it should come up with a DMG uh, just open it and then open this, you, should have n you shouldn't have any of these, it should be nothing press no and uh, press continue name of it just call it YouTube um, you can call yours anything I'm calling mine YouTube um, then what you're going to want to do is go to Windows Microsoft Windows and choose your system I use Windows 7 and then you want to hit continue um, you can give it as much memory as you want I leave it till about here somewhere like 640 MB um, then you just want to click create a new one and then create a new one use that one that's what no I use that one yeah uh, VDI it's the easiest one to use and just press continue um, give it as much space as you want uh, I usually put it about the same 86 I don't know just continue this is only a tutorial you can I don't know what your captivity is and then click create so just follow them simple steps um, it should run and then it should come up on this side, this bar here, and then YouTube. So, um, if I double click on this now, see this? Oh, hang on. This is what happened with a lot of people. Now, a lot of people just started it up like that and then left it, and then it just went blank like that. But I know how to fix it, so um, I've already got another one running at the minute. That's my Windows. It's setting up, and I will prove it works in a minute. What you're going to want to do is press Storage, and now here on this thing, you're going to want to press this blue disk with the uh, green arrow, and know the green cross. It adds an attachment to the storage tree, so you just want to press that, and then press Add CD slash DVD devices and then choose DVD or choose disk and then search for your disk so mine's called X17 something so I know that and then wait for it to all load and then that's the ISO you press that and open um, I'll just do it quickly so now it's there you want to select it and press OK and now you should see if you press on storage if storage wants to just open so I can see it but yeah, that's what you got to do, and then you double click it. I'm just going to remove it instead of double click it. So, uh, delete all the files. So, what you're going to want to do is once you've done this, you want to open it. So, double click it, that's it. And then 
it just starts running. Now this is the really boring part. Um, I had to go make a cup of tea. I watched a film because it just sets up. So now this is perfect because it's been setting up. So I thought I might just make a YouTube video. Um, name of PC. It's called Reese's Windows. Okay, you can't put space in. Just call it Reese's Windows or something like that. Whatever your name is. I'll just call it Windows. Windows 97. Um, type your username and tech gaming. But well, that's what I would put. But I'm just going to put Reese for now. Um, put next. Type a password. Um, And then I know my password, so just I'm just gonna put that because I know my password, all my passwords. Um, product key, you can skip this if you want. And then use recommended settings. Uh, Dublin, what, what am I? I am somewhere around here. Oh, it was already set up on my time. It's Saturday the first today, and it is nine five. Um, I'm using this for home use, so I'm just gonna click on my home network. And I'm just gonna it's connecting up um, but this is just proof and I'm gonna show you because not many people showed you this far as I am um, so I'm just gonna set it up with you I'll tell you how to use it and then I'm gonna let you get on with what you're doing um, I'm I'm using this because I want to get something for uh, GTA IV and I also want to get something from like stuff like Modio and stuff it saves me getting downloads on this and moving it over to my laptop when I can just do it on the same computer it's really easy um, and another thing is as well you can just drag your files on I think I think that's how it works but yeah it's really useful to have this um, program and uh, I'm drinking a cup of tea at the same time I just want to say thanks for watching this video and I hope it works for you uh, if you've got any problems uh, feel free to just Put it in the description. No, put it in the comments and stuff like that. Um, please subscribe if it did work because it just helps me a lot. I've only got what 40 subs when this video was up, so we'll see after this video anyway. So I'm just gonna close my door. But yeah, it's just gonna be preparing desktop for a while. It does that. If you've ever had a brand new laptop and computer, you'll know why. Um, but yeah guys, thanks for watching, um, didn't want that, I wanted quick time movie plan. So yeah guys, thanks for watching, uh, hope to see you again soon, watching my other tutorials that I'm going to bring out, I'm going to be doing a lot of math tutorials, so yeah, hope this helped, any questions, message me, comment, uh, please like if you liked the video, and don't forget to subscribe.